If this video gets 40,000 likes, I will do an entire episode of Setup Wars completely covered in dbrand skins. My face, my arms, my neck. Should be an interesting episode. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 54 Budget Edition where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the show. And if you guys are interested in participating, make sure to watch the video linked below. But ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any more time, Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always everyone's gear for their setups along with anything I recommend in this episode will be linked below so make sure to check that out. But here are your 5 lucky contestants for this week. We have Eric, Bass or Bass, Ethan, Ivalin and Mike. Jeez, I butchered the crap out of those. So first up we have Eric and a pretty clean setup, a 24 inch Acer monitor between two Sony speakers and for the gaming gear we have the Gigabyte Avia, a Somium keyboard and a Logitech M705 mouse. To the left of the speakers are his Philips headphones on a custom made headphone stand and speaking of custom work, the cable drop and phone stand are also handmade by Eric himself. The PC that's powering the setup has a 6600K Skylake processor and a GTX 970 Strix graphics card. Cable management on the other hand is on point and everything is neatly organized. Other than picking up an extended mouse pad, this is a really clean and straightforward setup. Thank you Eric for entering. Next up we have Bass and his shelf setup. And I say shelf because that's not an actual desk. So on the shelf we have the AOC 22 inch monitor, a Fujitsu keyboard and a Logitech M100 mouse on top of a Razer mouse pad. We also have the BM700 mic hooked up to an Inox boom arm and an M audio interface near the back. Cable management looks pretty good for the most part, I mean the signal rack is holding majority of the cables and I do see that you did your best to wrap the cables together. And finally, the PC he is using has an i5-4590 and a GTX 960. So a few things I would change if this was my setup. Firstly, I would hook up the boom arm in the back of the desk instead of having it so close to you. The arm should be long enough to reach across the desk. Also picking up a monitor riser would not only give you some space underneath to store your audio interface and receiver, but it will also be in reach of you. And lastly, getting a hanger for your headphones would be the icing on the cake. Lots of potential to be an even better setup, but this is a great start. Thank you Bass for entering. At number 3 we have Ethan with a pretty sweet black and red themed setup. We have a 22 inch Samsung monitor and the very popular Red Dragon Central Forest keyboard and mouse bundle on top of the Red Dragon mouse pad. Excellent choices, I definitely approve. We also have a set of Logitech Z506 speakers and a Corsair Raptor JS30 headset on a black and red chair. Cable management is very clean on the ground but it's extreme chaos up top with some cables hanging around. I think a cable raceway would help you route the cables through and conceal most of those wires. And I also like the cable spiral you have used for the wires running down. Excellent choice there. The PC that's powering the setup has a 6600K and an R7 370 with 16 gigs of RAM. Overall a pretty sweet black and red setup with little complaints. Thank you Ethan for entering. And here's another budget setup. Ivalin is rocking a 22 inch LG monitor with the A4 Tech bloody keyboard and mouse bundle. There's also a set of Logitech X530 speakers near the back and that's pretty much all this setup has. The PC has a 6300 that's overclocked to 3.9 and another R7370 graphics card. I also like how you used the pullout keyboard drawer to store a few items. The cable management however most likely needs some work. I think you would just tuck them away on the side so I won't be able to see them but I'm sure it's a mess back there. If they are, I would advise using some velcro straps or maybe even a cable sleeve to wrap them neatly together. Also a cable box for your power strip if you do have one somewhere. A pretty good minimalistic setup, thank you Ivalin for entering. Last but not least we have Mike with our first dual display setup in the budget edition. So the monitor on the left is a 19 inch LG and the one on the right is a 24 inch BenQ gaming monitor with a 144Hz refresh rate. The keyboard he is using is the Arachnid ReCore and we also have a Death Adder Chroma mouse on top of the Corsair mouse pad. A few other things on the desk are the Logitech 2.1 speakers, a blue snowball black edition mic and steel series headset. The PC that's running this setup has an FX8350 and a GTX 960 inside the in-win case. 
I feel like we're gonna see a lot of AMD builds in the budget edition of Setup Wars. Cable management is on point. The IKEA mom desk still remains one of my favorite desks of all times, even till today. The cable management rack is simply amazing and has plenty of surface area for a multi-monitor setup and even room for a PC. It looks like the subwoofer is holding up the monitor, but honestly, I would recommend putting it under the desk because subwoofers aren't meant to be on top of the tables. Also, a headphone anger would keep your headphones off of your PC case and maybe even a boom arm for your mic. I would also use a piece of Velcro and wrap around the PC cables in the back so that they are organized. Overall, a very sexy setup, no doubt. Thank you, Mike, for entering. So that's basically for the episode. I'm kind of testing the waters with the budget edition, so if this is something you guys want to see done more frequently, let me know by dropping a comment down below. Uh, also, let me know which of these setups you guys enjoy the most. Make sure to vote down below as well. That's basically it. Uh, the winner will be announced on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.